Okay, so today we're doing a side-by-side -side comparison between Google Home and Apple's HomePod Max. First, we're testing contextual intelligence. Hey Siri, how tall is LeBron James? LeBron James is 6 feet 9 inches tall. Hey Siri, is he married? I found some web results. I'll send them to Ben's iPhone. Google was able to provide a good contextual answer regardless of whether or not I used follow-up. When I asked Siri this contextual question, she just searched for, is he married on the internet? Not very helpful. Hey Google, what do crows eat? I found four on the website allaboutbirds.org. Habitat, American crows are highly adaptable and will live in any open place that offers a few trees to perch in and a reliable source of food. Food, American crows eat a vast array of foods, including grains, seeds, nuts, fruits, berries, and many kinds of small animals such as earthworms and mice. Behavior. And finally, conservation. Where do they live? On the website cwf-fcf.org, they say, Range, the American crow can be found in all of Canada except for the Yukon. Habitat, the crow adapts well to a variety of habitats. I also found an answer to this question. What habitat do crows live in? Do you want to hear it? No. Hey Siri, what do crows eat? Here's what I found from wikipedia.org. Crows are omnivorous and their diet is very diverse. They will eat almost anything, including other birds, fruits, nuts, mollusks, earthworms, seeds, frogs, eggs, nestlings, mice, and carrion. Hey Siri, where do they live? I found some web results. I'll send them to Ben's iPhone. Here, I think it's pretty obvious that Google's contextual intelligence and understanding is just overall better. Now on to daily tasks. Hey Siri, add eggs to my shopping list. All right, I've added it to your shopping list. Hey Google, add eggs to my shopping list. Okay, I added eggs. What is the answer to life, the universe, and everything? The answer to life, the universe, and everything is 42. Hey Siri, what's the answer to life, the universe, and everything? Maybe it's about doing things that make you stop wondering what life is all about, and instead just start enjoying life for what it is. Google gave the correct answer, just saying. Apple's being kind of a buzzkill. Hey Siri, talk dirty to me. Humus. Compost, pumice, silt, gravel. Hey Google, talk dirty to me. Sludge, slime, a garbage can overflowing with waste. Schedule a meeting with Q on Tuesday at 4 p.m. Got it, Q tomorrow at 4 p.m. Do you want to save that? Yes. Sure, I added it. Hey Siri, schedule a meeting with Q on Tuesday at 4 p.m. Which Q? Which Q? Hey Siri, schedule a meeting with Steve on Tuesday at 4 p.m. Okay, so it is actually remarkably easy to add events using my Google Home to my iPhone's calendar because I have Google's calendars integrated into my iCloud. That is one area where Apple plays surprisingly well with Google. Why is Apple obsessed with knowing who I'm scheduling with? It's weird and frustrating and unnecessary. Also, what was with the weird death spiral? Hey Siri, play Vessel. Here's Revivals in the Air Live by Bethel Music. Hey Siri, play Vessel by 21 Pilots. Vessel by 21 Pilots now playing. Hey Google, play Vessel. Got it, Vessel from Tubi TV. Playing on TV. Sorry, something went wrong. When you're ready, give it another try. 
play Vessel by 21 Pilots. Should I still play that on TV? No. No. No problem playing the album Vessel on Spotify. Hey Siri, play My Future by Billie Eilish. Now playing My Future by Billie Eilish. Hey Siri, create a station. Okay, music like My Future is next in your queue. It would be really nice if Apple would let me hear the whole song I'm basing my radio station on before switching to the station. Hey Siri, pause. Hey Google, play My Future by Billie Eilish. My Future by Billie Eilish, sure. Playing on Spotify. Hey Google, create a station. Sure, here's a Spotify playlist called Billie Eilish, complete collection. Hey, so it's worth noting that sometimes when I tell Google to play or pause, it'll think I'm asking for some weird YouTube channel or something. It's weird and annoying. Funny to me that both of them got this wrong, though. I didn't plan that, I promise. For now, it seems that good smart speaker etiquette dictates that unless you're asking for single ladies, you'd better specify the artist. Hey Siri, can you rap? Here's one that's like this and like that and like this. One, two, three and to the four. Siri's on the mic to answer what you ask for. Ready to make an entrance, so here's my claim. This assistant wrote the rules to the game. Drop me a hey Siri, and I'll do my best not to stumble. Assisting you is my thing, yo, you know I won't grumble. It's nothing but a Siri thing, baby. Maps, tunes, and weather coming daily. Helping you is just why they made me. Hey, I guess that all right. Vaguely. Hey Google, can you rap? <laughs> I can rap and sing, help you do so many things. We can plan all your tasks, all you gotta do is ask. I'll crank up your tunes, tell you the news. I'll let you sleep in and hit the snooze. Just remember that I'm here for you. There's nothing else I'd rather do. Hey Siri, convert 15 pounds to ounces. 15 pounds is 240 ounces. Hey Google, convert 15 pounds to ounces. 15 pounds is equal to 240 ounces. Tell me a joke. Here's a really bad one. How do mountains see? They peak. Hey Siri, tell me a joke. Okay, this one's a little bit punny. Why was the rabbit really excited about his new burrow? Because it had his whole life ahead of it. Hey Siri, what's your best pickup line? Say hi, I'm Ben, and take it from there. What's your best pickup line? According to search results, the moon has less gravity than Earth, but I'd still fall for you there. Turns out, speakers are garbage at rapping. Oh, I also wanted to mention that I did a test where I just threw some song lyrics at the speakers and asked them to play the song that it related to. Uh, they did pretty well. Apple understood that I wanted to hear Bohemian Rhapsody and played a French version of it, and then Google verbally acknowledged that I wanted Bohemian Rhapsody and then played a completely different song from this movie called Practical Magic. When I straight up asked it to play the right song, it stubbornly refused and kept playing the song from Practical Magic. So weird. Ultimately, I think if you want a better assistant, you should go with Google. If you want nicer sounding speakers, I think you should just hook nicer sounding speakers up to your Google Assistant because it would still be cheaper than getting a HomePod. The only thing that's better about HomePods are the mics, which are great, and to be honest, I will miss those a lot. The other thing which is better, of course, is the sound, but of course, you won't be able to buy the big one anymore, and now we're kind of on a more even playing field. So anyway, that's pretty much it. Thanks for watching, and as always, I'll be right back.